man was laying on the ground in a dark alley. The note left by the killer hinted that more murders will come. Frenchy, I think you should keep this important piece of evidence. Nah, Vince, it's a trophy. The award for the best cop of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Frenchy, where have you been? We've been waiting for you for hours. The body was found by some kids of the neighborhood who were playing on the tracks. Gave them quite a shock. The victim was thrown out of a running train. A quick look at the paper scattered around tells us he was an accountant or a financial analyst. Let's see what our star detective can really do. Keep it quick. I want to get my guys on the scene. The victim was suffering from allergies. Hi, Jack. Thanks for coming. I thought this could be of interest. This is Sam Black. The man was found dead in his apartment by the super. But wait, there's more. He wears the same lion tattoo as the other victim you are investigating. I thought it could prove relevant. This is the second member of the stadium patrol to die within a few hours. I should check on the third member. Don't hang up. You've been selected to receive our spectacular offer. You qualify for an exclusive package to anywhere around the world. Dan is Michel. Call me back. I... I wonder if it is still time, but I, I want to leave the boat before, before it sinks. Bob Reed, a candidate at the election presidential. A one-way plane ticket to Paris. Monsieur Lebrun was planning a very long trip, or an escape. What do you want? Hi. I'm investigating the murders of Mr. Lebrun and Black. I didn't invite you in, did I? I know my rights. You can't come in without a warrant. Don't come a step closer, detective. I... I don't know what to tell you. I don't... I don't know. I have to go now. If I remember anything useful, I'll call you. Now please, just leave. I don't know. I have to go now. Hi, Jack. I looked at the most recent transactions on Michael Labrune's credit card. He spent the last three days at Ocean City Casino and Resort. 
That's a two-hour drive from the city. We should go together and have a look. Yes, Mr. LeBron had stayed at a hotel for two nights. Not particularly. Mr. LeBron partook of his usual routine, spent the evening with Fair Fred at a private table in the VIP section. Fair Fred is one of our biggest players. He spends thousands of dollars per week at our resort. He is a loyal and valuable customer to us. Well... I'll be honest with you. He and I are not what you call close friends. I have no liking for the character nor the man. Well, between you and me, Detective, Fair Fred is trying to intimidate me. He wants to replace the star of the cabaret show with his niece. But nobody's going to tell me who to hire in my casino. I've been told the only thing we can accuse him of at the moment is falsifying tax return. Try his private poker table in the VIP section, or his table at the theater's balcony. Fair Fred? Oh, that guy's a loan shark. He lends money to washed-out players. And that's all I know. Mike Lebrun? Well, nothing in particular. I've heard his name a couple of times around here. I never met him, though. I... I don't know. He is really bossy. More than most bosses I've worked for. He's really, you know, self-righteous. He works hard. He's here 24-7. Pretty much. I can't believe it's tolerated by the management. We have the legal obligation to report loan sharking to the authorities. But I was told to look the other way. They use models to flirt with big players so they spend all of their money. When the poor guy has lost his last dollar, the girl brings him to Fred. Yes, I am. How much do you want? Okay, so if I know anything about the murders, I'll let you know. Is that okay, Detective? How do you suppose that has to do anything to do with me, Mr. French? I didn't kill those gentlemen. I won't even discuss it with you. What do you take me for, Mr. French? Do you take me for a thug? Well, you did insult me. Consider that you interrupted my meal, Detective. Besides, I came here for leisure and I'm falsely accused by a cocky detective of the most ridiculous accent I've ever heard. Now please, let me enjoy this delicious meal. Don't try to be witty with me, Frenchie. You actually want to play while you're on the job. Hmm, okay. Meet me in my booth momentarily, Mr. French. Now that my damn steak's gone cold anyway.